Hey everybody, looks into swirl here. New day, new Tumblr project. Guess what we're doing today? Guess. <laughs> yeah, we're hydro dipping. I have two tumblers. This is a sublimation tumbler that comes with a blue shimmer, but I'm gonna use it for hydro dipping just to see what happens. And this is your basic 20 skinny straight that I spray painted matte black. So for the first one, the blue shimmer, I'm going to use the following colors. We are hydro dipping today with Easy Marble Paints from Marabou. I'm going to use metallic teal, turquoise, gold, and lilac. I'm going to shake these up really well and then drop them in. You'll watch me do it. And then once the colors are in the water, I don't have much time. I need to work quickly, so I won't be talking at that point. I'll just be using my skewer to do a little marbling, tack the design to the edge of the bucket, and then in one hopefully smooth motion, I will dip from an angle and twist as I go to get a sort of swirly thing going. After it's under the water, I will break the seal of the paint with my other hand and pull this up. That's so you don't get a, a second layer of paint on top of what you just did. And then we will clean our water and we'll do the black cup. I might as well tell you this now. With the black cup, I'm going to use, these are all shifting because it's it's on a black surface. So they'll look really cool, I hope. This is a metallic shifting from teal to silver to red. A metallic that shifts from green to, to red to gold. A metallic that shifts from blue to gold to green. And finally, a glitter that shifts from violet to blue to green. So it'll be all sparkles. Okay, I'm just, I'm gonna glove up and I'm gonna get going and I'm not gonna be talking. <laughs> First, I shake the bejeebers out of everything. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, I like that. That is beautiful. Hot dog, okay. All right, put this aside, be right back. Okay, so to clean this, to clean the water. The bulk of it you can just pick up with, this is just a flap off an old cardboard box that was in my garage. Just tack it to the side or pick it up on the cardboard. And whatever little stuff still in there, you can use a strainer. I get this at Dollar Tree. Now onto the black cup and the metallics and the glitter. Berkeley, pretty. All right, I'm gonna leave both of these cups to dry and I will meet you back in the workroom. Hey, we're back. Okay, after I let these dry, I sprayed a layer of clear spray over both Rust-Oleum 2X, clear spray, maybe semi-gloss. It doesn't really matter. You just need to spray them because resin will repel from the paints that we hydro dip them into. So they need to be sealed. And then I put a layer of resin over both so they are nice and protected. They've turned out really pretty. Once around for you. And then this one I really love. You can still see the blue base through here in places. 
the green metallic, all the colors look gorgeous. Both of these make me very happy. And now it's time to put a something on them to finish them up. For both of them, I'm just doing sayings. I tried to come up with some graphics and I didn't find anything I liked. So, so we have this one for here, which is, I saw that by Karma. And this is a layer, it's gold on top of black, although it's sort of hard to tell that. And then for this one, this is from Tech Wrap Craft. I thought the purple chrome that they sent me in one of the packages matched the little bit of, uh, wasn't amethyst purple, what was it? Whatever you want to put on here, whether it's a graphic or a different saying or you know, using different fonts, whatever. Just put on what makes you happy. That's what I'm doing. And there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to put a layer of, I'm just going to put a layer of UV resin all around both sayings outside the edges so it tacks it down. I'm going to stick it out in the sunshine and cure it. And then I will put a layer of epoxy resin over both cups. I will add in 504. Stay tuned for whatever comes next.